Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Number one, boost oxygen. Oxygen in a bottle. <laughs> and it feels like I got tricked because it feels absolutely weightless. They've been around since 2007. I think they were even on Shark Tank. Oxygen directly fuels 90% of all body and mind functions. Oh, so when I'm feeling foggy, is this gonna help? The average oxygen level in the air is 21%. What? Boost oxygen is 95% pure breathing oxygen. Professional athletes inhale supplemental oxygen. I'm not a professional athlete. I know I could fool you, but I'm not. And it comes in flavors out of all things. I got grapefruit, I think. Yeah, pink grapefruit. For altitude and poor air quality. See what I'm saying? We never know when we're gonna have poor air quality. Up to 201 seconds. So, Place the mask under your nose. Oh, under, I thought it was like this, but under like this, over your mouth. Press the trigger, there's a little trigger right here in the front, to activate the flow. Breathe deeply through your mouth. The first one I'm not gonna put directly on my face because I wanna see what comes out, right? So here's the trigger right here, okay, so ready? One, two, three, go. I don't smell anything. Okay, let's just do it, Vivian, don't be scared. One, two, three, go. Oh, that I can smell, I can taste the grapefruit. That's so weird. <laughs> I just had a fruit salad. My senses are confused. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> I feel like this is helium. <laughs> Laughing gas. Do I feel peppy? Energized? I'm going to get addicted to this because it's making me feel happy. I love it. The flavor takes it to level 20 for me. I love it. See, there has to be warnings because I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep just doing it. I'm gonna eat this whole thing today. Is there any calories? Why do I feel like my mind is clear? It's all placebo effect right now because I'm feeling all kinds of happiness <laughs> and I feel like I can think and I know my name, I know how to spell it. <laughs> all those things you forget. I know my address. What's your phone number? I don't know. Now I know. <laughs> how many of these can I inhale a day? <laughs> I'm gonna get, I feel like it's laughing gas because I'm happy. Listen, it might be in my head. I'm not a medical professional. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I'm just excited because I found something new. <sighs> Has literally changed my mood. I absolutely love the uh, pink grapefruit. I feel clean and fresh inside as well. <sighs> so I'm gonna give Boost Oxygen 80 Vivian heads. Not 80, but five. Number two, silicone dishwashing gloves. I saw these on Instagram a long time ago. I thought you could only get them on Wish, but <laughs> people started making them here. 100% silicone with little like brush things attached. That way you can scrub everything. Now that I think about it, it reminds me of those silicone sponges that they try to sell a couple years ago. And I'm like, hell no, that does not work. If you haven't watched that video, you should go watch it. Now they've made them into gloves. And for a second, I thought that's a great idea. But now that I'm thinking about it, these little silicone things don't scrub a lot. I mean, it's silicone. What do you want them to scrub off? This was $9.99. It was expensive in my opinion. I was thinking this one is a multi-purpose one. Will it clean potatoes, plates, cups? Get in there real good. Maybe you just got your nails done. You don't want to jack them up in the water. Put your gloves on. They already have the thing. Two-in-one, glove and spongy scrubbing thing. Wash your dog. No, I think it would work for a dog. In the shower to exfoliate your skin, no? I'm thinking multi-purpose because we gotta get our money's worth out of it. $9.99 or some gloves, it's a stretch. This should have been like $7.99, $5.99. Y'all would sell a gazillion. Let's try them on and see if they scrub the hell out of this potato. On the packaging, it said 100% silicone. It better be for $9.99, honey. I like the color. I love that you can see like my watch and my ring. It makes them cuter. Okay, once you get one on, you can't put the other one on. You're gonna have to have your lover help you. Got it. What do you think? They're cute. See? I've seen gloves for potatoes before, but they're not this soft. Okay, potato, I know it's soapy water, but it's okay, you can rinse them off. Let's see. I like the idea. Ooh, and it keeps it soapy. The little fingers are creating more lather. I like that. And my hands and my manicure are not getting messed up. They're not horrible. I think I can make them work because I'm gonna use them on everything. Wash the car. Everything is getting scrubbed with these. They are slippery though. Oh yeah, be careful with that one washing dishes. How about you just use one at a time, huh? So you can hold on to stuff because they're slippery. See, buy this one, sell one to your sister, and then 
you keep one for yourself. You say, you only need one, girl. This is convenient for coffee cups because you know, sometimes it leaves that little rim from the coffee. Baby bottles might be perfect. Have you seen these before? Do you own it? Do you love it? I just feel like I'm gonna break something because it's slipping and sliding all over the place. Hey, not bad as far as cleaning that. You can't let kids use it like that either. See the lather? That's pretty good. You see what I'm saying? I do love it. Would you wash the car with this? I think so. It'll be fun. Listen, for not now, we gotta get our money's worth. Clean the windows. They're silicone. They should be fine in the dishwasher. Throw them in the dishwasher, disinfect, use for the next thing. I think I could find lots of uses for it. Take it in the shower, who cares? Look at that. Yeah, I would only use one at a time for sure. Then you put your hand in there like that. I feel like everything's more secure. If you've seen them cheaper somewhere else, let us know. So I'm gonna give the silicone brush sponge gloves four Vivian heads. Number three, motion censored water fountain for Jedi. I've always wanted to buy him one of these, but there's no way in hell I'm gonna pay regular price. This one was $39.99 regular price. I've seen them up to like $100. First of all, Jedi's a scaredy cat. So if this thing starts making noise, he's not gonna get near it. He's trying to take a nice sip of water peacefully. He doesn't want nothing making noises and stuff like that. So this one was on clearance for $13.99. That is 65% off for $13.99 plus your 20%. I'm like, that's totally worth it. And it's motion censored. So it's not gonna be going all the time. Only when it sees Jedi or I guess movement. It's not just for dogs. It's also for cats. It says it dispenses water automatically when pet is within three feet of the motion sensor. It holds up to three liters of water. What do you think? Does your dog have one of these? Is he scared of it? That's what I've read on the reviews too on Amazon when I was first researching one of these for him. A lot of animals are scared of it because they don't, they're just trying to get a drink. They don't like all the technology stuff. For $13.99, I'm like, okay, we can give it a shot and see. So cool. I hope it's filter. Is there a filter? See, the ones on Amazon that I was checking before had a filter. Yes, it does have a filter, I think. Yeah. Oh, I gotta replace that, don't I? I'm the sucker. Now I got another expense. <laughs> okay, there is assembly required. Remove the tape before adding water. That's what it looks like on the inside. Mm, very thin plastic. This is another thing. We gotta keep it plugged in. Where are you gonna put this? I mean, a little bowl of water. It's so easy, simple, free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already talking myself out of this and I haven't even tried it. I guess that's the pump. Remove inside piece. What inside piece? Oh, is that a filter? So the inside piece in here, I guess you could take off and wash. Okay, tape off. Oh, filter, filter. I have two filters, like a fish tank now. I guess they're saying you can wash this in like your dishwasher. And then the rest of this, you can just wipe down when needed. This, how much is this? The filter goes inside, just in this little pocket thing. Looks like that. Here we go. Okay. Ta -da! Let me know if this is too much. If this is silly. Okay. No fill line, so I'm just gonna keep pouring. See, and then you gotta remember to fill. Uh, I'm talking myself out of it already. So filter is in place, water is added. Put the lid back on, and you wanna line up this little hole here with the sensor. Easy. Plug it in. In the back, it has a little plug right there underneath here. Maybe this button is like the power button. There's a little button in the back. I think that's the power button. Okay, see the little light's turning purple now. Press the power button to start the machine and put it into smart mode, okay. Jedi walks by. Now that I'm thinking about it, do they have these that are battery powered? I don't wanna have it plugged in with a big old tub of water next to it. What if Jedi knocks this over or something? Not that he's ever knocked it over, but I'm just saying there is electricity plugged into this water thing. So dangerous. What about the kids? Not even Jedi. What about little kids walking by? They think it's cool or something. If you have one that's battery powered or USB powered, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I think it's ready for me now. Coyote. Do you think he's going to love it? Look at it. The water's coming out. I love it and I don't love it. Okay, there it turns off. For 13 bucks, I guess it's not bad. It's filtered, that's pretty good. Now let me take it to the floor to see if he'll even get near it. He might not, he might not like all that buzzing and stuff.
So I just went ahead and left it plugged in where it was. I was surprised that he even took a sip. Maybe he just needs to get used to it. He was not afraid of the sound. That was my only concern when I first bought it. Follow me on Instagram and I'll update you guys later to see if he absolutely loves it. So I'm gonna give the Brookstone Motion Sensor Water Fountain three Vivian heads. Number four, never stick. Don't forget those words. Never stick cookware. And never stick, chip, or flake. Guaranteed. Target had this 10 inch pan for $39.99, which to me is a little pricey, don't you think? So the expectations are like already. There are a couple things though in the infomercial that made me go, oh, be careful. I mentioned this on my Instagram stories the other day. They have a lifetime five year warranty. <laughs> I hate when they play with the words in the infomercial and I know that it's just a thing people do, but I hate that because when you say a lifetime warranty, I'm thinking my lifespan. Like as long as I have the pan, then my warranty is good. But that's not what they're saying. When used as directed is a lifetime based on five years. It's a five year pan lifetime warranty, meaning a normal pan on an average would last you about five years. So they're basing it on that. When you say lifetime, I'm going, oh my God, my grandkids can own this pan. That's what I think. The infomercial promises that nothing will ever chip, stick, scratch, nothing. It never sticks, chips, or flakes. Nothing. <laughs> so, you know, Vivian took the challenge. We're really going to put this to the ultimate non-stick test. I have here my little magnifying glass. We're going to check for scratches today. I also have my little temperature gun here because the pan says it can hold up to 30,000 degrees. I don't know how you test that, but okay. And even at that temperature, I can't get it that hot because I don't got a facility. Um, so I can't get it up to 30,000 degrees, but I'm going to get it up. Probably like 400, <laughs> that's what I can do. That's realistic, that's real life. Ain't nobody cooking at 30,000 degrees. This is still a decent pan. Only reason I bought it is so that we would have a fair comparison, new against new. And these folks threw some jabs at this one in the infomercial with the little sandpaper test. Did you see that? Has been scrubbed 40,000 times. That was the one where I went, literally got in my car, went to Target, picked this guy up and picked up sandpaper. They took sandpaper and based on their infomercial, they scratched the hell out of this and nothing stuck to it. So they challenged me. I'm like, this is the biggest challenge ever done on Vivian Trice. I am literally going to take sandpaper. <laughs> and then we're gonna cook on it. And then we're gonna put this beautiful magnifying glass on it. And we're gonna check for scratches. Let's admire the beautiful pan, right? Look at it. Not heavy like cast iron is, but it does have that cast iron kind of feel on it. This is impressive. If you want one of these, I'll link it up in the description of this video. Every time I pull this out, everybody wants one because it's so cool. Look at that surface. It looks really nice. It reminds me of the Haxclad. I don't remember. I always mispronounce that pan that I also did with this fancy little thing. It kind of reminds me of that. It has a little bit of a blue sparkle in there. I don't know, but that surface is looking very familiar. Go ahead and check the blue diamond just for fun because somebody's going to ask me. Nice, clean surface. It does have like some very light scratches right out of the box, but nothing that I can see visibly with my eyes. It also might be just dirty right? Because I have not wiped these down yet. Now the infomercial went extra, 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 the most is, as I like to say. And they said they freaking rubbed this thing right in the center too, like 30,000 times. I'm like, okay, that's overkill. Let me show you the before. Okay. It's on the surface. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, who owes me money? Who owes me money? Send me my check. Can you see the scratches? Oh my god. Okay, so this one, you see it right there? It's not crazy scratched, but it's definitely, it got some of that blue diamond dust. <laughs> I remember that in the infomercial that said this diamond dust. Get out of here with that. Okay, we'll start with our ninja cookware. Let's see if we can see some difference here. I see scratching, but I believe the infomercial, they said it will never scratch, chip, or stick, right? What is that? Let's just move on because I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Like, whoa, this one is jack. 
fact. Look at all the scratches on it. Y'all ruined my pan. But if it doesn't stick, is it ruined? I don't know. We're gonna call it the blue diamond never stick pan. Why do I have a country accent today? I don't know. Listen, I've morphed into the Vivian from the country. Hillbilly Vivian. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened, but I woke up with an accent. <laughs> I wish I had a British accent. I can't wait to be back in London, you guys. Very visible damage here. I can confirm that I'm seeing scratches and surface has chipped or been worn off. Now, look at these fancy things I got on Amazon. Okay, so we're gonna do the ninja over here and the blue diamond over here. Ding, 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 ding. We're in the ring, folks. No oil needed, no butter, no greases, no nothing, because they both promise the same thing. See the way that egg dish just lifts and glides right out of that pan with no tearing or breaking apart? Non-stick. Except Blue Diamond did not promise the little sandpaper test, so we can't take any points off for this one because it's not its fault that I scratched it up. So, so much for uh, having two of these little hot plate things because my Blue Diamond pan will not work on it. Oh, beautiful. This thing is getting beat up today. Let's just do a little gentle flip. Not a big deal. It's a traditional nonstick pan scrubbed 15,000 times and a Ninja Never Stick pan that was scrubbed 40,000 times. You're a little burnt because I'm over here yapping. <laughs> Pretty good. It's burnt. Don't judge me and my cooking skills. I'm trying to talk, not burn myself, all that stuff at the same time. The infomercial, he just rolled that omelet right out of there. Look at that, as golden as the morning sun. I don't know where I'm getting this accent, you guys. I'm concerned about it now. Come on. That's around 10 years worth of scrubbing and the Ninja Pan still has never stick performance. This is the easiest test of today. It looks like some of the omelets started to stick to the part of the pan where we scrubbed it 1,500 times. I'm gonna say that's shameful. And I know some people are gonna say, well, maybe the pan was hotter. No, actually look at the egg from the bottom. It's not even burnt compared to this guy. This guy was burnt. I was gonna go take it to the sink to wash, but I'm thinking these are nonstick. I should be able to just wipe it all out right here. One thing I will say, now that I've picked up the blue diamond pan, still sizzling hot. This one is like cool already. Like I can touch, I can't touch this one. I'm literally burning my hands, wiping it with this rag. And now the candy test. Both pans claim something like this where you can melt like hard candy and they're not gonna stick. These sticky candy demos on brand new pans, but after only 1500 scrubs, the food sticks. Clearly Ninja never stick, never sticks. There's one, number two. This one is moving a lot faster, even though I placed the lollipop on this one. I was hating about the eggs a little bit because I don't want to help you. You told me you had this. It's going faster over here. I'm kind of impressed with it a little bit. My pan is starting to smoke, which is not a great sign. It might be a case of runaway heating. This one's smoking. I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to let it cool down so we can just wipe it off. Two melted lollipops. What kind of test is this? Okay. Got that one out of there. Make sure we can get all this off of here. The food sticks. Okay, this one. Wipe it right out of there. Ninja never stick, never sticks. Okay, this one's sticking a little bit more than that guy was. You can see, there's a lot more of the candy still on this one than there is on this guy. It's also a lot easier to clean. Running cold water over the blue diamond pan actually did excellent. It almost got all the candy off without having to do much. I'm gonna say it did not stick on this pan. This one, definitely are gonna have to scrub that. And it was not coming off with just water. That's stuck stuck. My pan will simply wipe out clean. <laughs> That's not coming off. Not with my nails, not with this little plastic spatula. So I'm gonna have to go scrub it in the sink. I'm gonna say if I'm comparing both of these, this one passed, this one, not so much. Now clean, I did just run it under water for a few more minutes and it came right off. No extra scrubbing or anything. The water did most of the work, but you guys saw the results. You let me know what you think of that test. The famous marshmallow test. I think every single pan I've ever tested on my channel has gone through the marshmallow test because there is nothing stickier than marshmallows, correct? Do you not love this beautiful light green color of this shirt now? Let me know in the comments down below which color of shirt has been your favorite. And don't forget, after you're done with this video, to go to cute.com and pick one of these up. They're my favorite. I love stripes. Okay, pile them in. Pretty easy test. I'll tell you, I'm impressed with the way this thing handles the temperature. You might have a decent pan here and I might have to switch. Okay. <laughs> See, came right off. Okay, these, 
There's one. Why aren't y'all coming off all at the same time? Oh, uh-oh. This pan did not get as hot as that one. You guys can see that one burned my marshmallows. These are not burnt. Um, They need help. They're not just popping off. Never sticks. Let's just help it. What a mess. <laughs> I should retire this stupid test because guess who gets to clean that? Me. Which one do you want to clean? Washed. Did the Ninja Foodie Never Stick cookware pass my test? I'm gonna say yes because it did. Did it pass with flying colors? No. It kind of just passed like any other pan. The cast iron kind of look is really nice and I'm sure that it will sear meat protein nicely. For all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Ninja Foodie nonstick cookware for Vivian Heads. Number five, nostalgia. Three in one breakfast station. Look at the miniature coffee maker attached to it. So on top, eggs, little baby sausages, pancakes. Inside you have a toaster oven. We have here our coffee maker. Three cups of coffee, that's what that's gonna make. We also get a lid for the top so you can cover up your food, steam some eggs. Girl, we're gonna live good. Back here is a little compartment for water. And it gives a little measuring cup for coffee. You have a timer here, the on and off for the coffee maker. And then this is for the oven grill. Maximum four cups. Look at this. Put it in there. The light is on because plugged it into the wall. It should just go, right? Can you hear it? It's smoking. Maybe I didn't take all the stickers off. This is kind of dangerous. I'm nervous about the kids. Did you see all that smoke? My alarm's about to go off. My coffee's ready though. Guess what we're getting, croissants. Who's gonna pass up some Smokies? Some fresh croissants. Oh, can we make weenies in a blanket? Okay, this is a little one. This should not. There we go, I got it. You keep brewing coffee, but you ain't doing nothing up here for me. Is this a good idea? There's a surprise inside. This up here seems to be steaming. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think both of these things work together. Let me turn as you guys can see. <gasps> Pancakes. How's my little pigs in a blanket? They're looking good? Another pro tip, if you don't have nonstick spray, like I don't have nonstick spray right now, just move that around and then boom, there's your nonstick spray. So your pancakes are gonna be extra <laughs> yummy. Now the entire surface is nonstick. Oh no, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Burnt. I take my weenies out, cause they're done. Girl. Oh no. You're gonna have to discount these, but they're still good. I'm eating them. If you're picky, you can go home. And if this is your home, you can leave. <laughs> the little bite-sized ones, that's what we're gonna get. So far, I'm impressed. It's compact. You kind of got to get used to how fast things heat up because things heat up quickly if you're not paying attention. A dorm room, right, for the kids. So all in all, I'm going to say it's a winner. Get you one. They come in different colors. So I'm going to give the three-in-one nostalgia breakfast thing five Vivian heads. It's a winner. Number six. These are color-changing tumblers and straws. These are brand new at Wally World and I think I love them. It says Ice Iced Baby, that's why I picked these up. And not just for your normal like soda pop or fresh squeezed orange juice, iced coffee. Do we need this? Probably not. All your friends get their own color so you know that's your drink, not mine. Don't be putting your nasty ass mouth on my drink. Who knows where that mouth has been? or who it's been on. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be sharing drinks. That's gross. Oh, that's a leopard print. Cute.com, I'm bringing in some leopard print. Oh, you guys voted on my Instagram. And then here are your straws, color coordinated. 
I need to say this because these videos are not sponsored. Walmart needs to go ahead and throw uh, Vivian tries some coins because I've been working this pole for a long time <laughs> and y'all ain't even dropped a couple dollars for me. You know why? She be telling you don't buy this at Wally World and she calls it Wally World. You probably don't like that. Is it tacky if we put like ice and wine? Is that tacky? Is that she's low class kind of tacky? I don't know the rules to the drinking game. Jamaican me happy. That stuff is so good. Y'all don't gotta sponsor me. I'm gonna recommend that every day. Okay, let's see. Look at it. Oh, that one's turning purple. How cool is this? This one? This one's turning green. Oh, this one's turning like a reddish color. Okay, let's pour some orange juice in all of them. Should I put some wine? Let's try it for fun. What do you think that's gonna happen? I was gonna say these are kind of basic and silly, but I don't know. I love them. A little bit here. Oh, let's put some water on the last one. Are you impressed? Or am I the only one impressed? And the longer it sits, the more color pigmented, I guess. Now they had these for cold drinks and hot drinks. I got the cold drink one, but they do have like for coffee and hot drinks. Get you those if you want some hot drinks. These three are my favorite right here. This one, not so much. The green and the orange kind of blend together. So I'm gonna give the color changing tumblers five. Vivian has number seven. For the birthday party, for the catering company, for school, last minute. Oh my God, we gotta bring a baked good. I'm gonna show you a hack today. Parent of the year, for sure. Reminded me of the ice cream. You know those ice creams that you push through? I think they're called push pops too. But this is for cupcakes. I'm sure you can use them for ice cream too. Dude, how many kids are in a classroom now? Like 30, 20? All you have to do for this Vivian hack is buy you some of these at Wally World. Oh, Dollar Tree. Y'all can totally. Call me. We're gonna coordinate how you're gonna roll this out. Dollar Tree, y'all need to get on this. This is easy peasy, y'all can do this. Here's the hack. Buy these little miniature cupcakes and you're gonna cut them in half. Then you got the lid, boom. And I'm even saying get fancy, put a little Vivian head sticker on there, boom. You're good, you're gonna win. And I brought some extra candy from Halloween. These were 90% off and I bought tons of them because I need them. You understand the supplies you need. If you get different colors, then you can layer it and look real Instagrammy. Are you supposed to wash these? Does it have fungalitis in there? I don't think so. You're supposed to eat that. I don't think you're supposed to wash that. I'm not gonna wash it. This is gonna take you 10 minutes to make. Easy peasy. I'm gonna do one without cutting it because at first I thought we should cut it, right? But no, girl, no work. <gasps> I'm so fucking you just take that off. How cute is that alone? Now you just drop it in there, right? Boom. See, two cupcakes. And you do them different colors so you look like Pinteresty. Everybody's gonna be so impressed with your damn baking skills. They don't know you need to do nothing. Had some wine in your giant wine bottle glass. Hybrid. <laughs> so here's a purple one. Just drop it in gently. I don't wanna squish it, so I'm gonna push it like this. Look at that. Better than that picture right there. And then you put the little lid on top. <gasps> Do you love it? <laughs> then what I was thinking was cutting them in half. That way you can get multiple layers of frosting on there. Cause if you're like me, you love the frosting part. Well, there's number one. Girl, we could sell these. Okay, here's the business plan. Are you guys ready? Grab a pen at church. Sunday, tell them you had a bake sale and you're raising funds for <laughs> your bake. <laughs> for your freaking vacation. Yeah, not for nothing else. You want to go on vacation. This was my first thought was to cut them like this in half. And then you have this little extra one. This one. Now don't throw these away. That's a good snack for later. <laughs> uh-uh, because you're going to stuff it. Just follow along. Girl, your shit's going to be so good. They're going to ask you to bake for every... See, you might not want to do this. Then they're going to put that on you to be the classroom bake mom because they're so impressed with your damn skills. And you're like, girl, no. I don't even want to be up here. Why are you calling me? <laughs> Let's assemble. Take this little thing out of here because you can just put it through later. You want to be able to control the tower. So let's start with pink. You see what I'm saying? Look. Oh, yeah. And then you push it down real good like this. Remember this one. See? It just looks prettier. Oh, but your hands are dirty. I'm sure you can just wipe these down later. Okay. Oh, <laughs> A three second rule. There's a three second rule. There's no fungalitis on my desk. Save this one for your husband. He doesn't care. He'll eat anything. 
<laughs> he will. Shit, he's got a 20 second rule. Not even a five. Ooh, wait a second. I squished it down too much, I think. My first idea was so good and I done messed it up. This looks artisanal. <laughs> Dang. And then top it off with these. Oh no, this one's ruined. You're gonna be able to sell that one for full price. This is going in the clearance aisle. They're gonna know. You drop this one <laughs> a couple times. It's like a milkshake. <laughs> it's all together. <laughs> Lid on, get a little wet wipe like they do at <laughs> fast food restaurants where they wipe everything down with the same fucking rag. And you're like, did you just wipe the counter down with that rag that you're wiping on my damn food? Did you just wipe your hands with that? Did you just wipe the walls <laughs> with that same rag? You're so gross, I don't want it. Look how cute this is. This is even for like on the go. You need a snack. <laughs> Portion control, you know you have two little baby mini cupcakes. I wanna stuff some candy in there. Put a cupcake, then a candy, then a cupcake. Everybody loves the prize of the middle. These mini cupcakes are so perfect. Put it right there. This took a whole 10 minutes to do. If you got 20 kids, you need 30 minutes. Boom, you're done. Pro tip, get your knife, push it down. That way you don't get your fingers all in there. This is still the, my favorite. It's beautiful. Just aesthetically, visually, this one's the best. <gasps> Reusable. You better wash these out and use them again. Don't throw this away. Whoever is taking these to their classroom, they need to collect them from all the kids, put them through some hot soapy water, and then put some ice cream in there, freeze them, and then... <laughs> What the fuck is that? So I'm gonna give the treat poppers five Vivian heads. Number eight. I wanna see if an entire bottle. Do you really think an entire bottle of wine is gonna fit in here and we can sip on it all night? Everybody gets their own. Right there it says holds 34 ounces of your favorite drink. I want a whole wine bottle to fit in here. That's why I bought you. No ma'am. That's only like two cups. I don't wanna be pouring some later. I do love it though. Let me go rinse this out and then we'll get the party started. I'm not gonna lie. I'm disappointed in the size. That's what she said. <laughs> that I'm done. I'm gonna take a Vivian head off for that. You can't hype me up and then let me down once you show me the goods. <laughs> Brand new bottle. I just opened it five seconds ago. We're gonna pour it all the way to the rim. So are you guys ready? Here we go. Are y'all excited? I feel like people that don't know me are gonna think that I have a drinking problem, which I don't even drink. <laughs> oh wait, I take it back. You're getting that bonus Vivian head. <laughs> Fun fact, these are 34 ounces and baby, how much of this can I drink? <laughs> That's not a challenge, but watch it during the video. Sometimes I jump around between products in the video. So sometimes it'll go up, sometimes it'll go down. Let me try it, ready? The thing is, if you don't finish it, then what? I gotta get a funnel and pour that shit back in here? See, now you challenge me. I gotta finish it. I am not about to pour all this back in there. Girl, nobody has time for that. And this is cheap wine from town. <laughs> so we gotta drink it now. We ain't wasting. Girl, we don't waste nothing. Don't worry, I can finish it. Number nine, miniature lava and bunt cake maker. I like this color. It's not my favorite, but I do. Oh, ooh, that's a pretty teal. See, I didn't realize it was like a bundt cake. It said that on the box, but I thought bundt cake meant something else. I wanna love this one because they're gonna look so beautiful. Could you imagine if we make a stack, like a wedding cake with all bundt cakes like that and everybody can just take a piece? So one side has like the bundt kind of design and the other one is flat. See, I think y'all thought this one through. I think the trick is don't put too much. <gasps> Just a little bit, just a little bit. Let me give you a pro tip. One of those like pancake squeezy bottles and just go like that, Shh, probably better. Close it. I'm gonna say that's done. You just have to guess at this stuff. <laughs> Before I put too much, now I didn't put enough because nothing's happening. They're just there looking stale. <laughs> Can I flip it? That's the question. This is probably not recommended. This is just me experimenting for the show. Listen, if stuff's gonna take more than 15 minutes in here, I might as well use my own oven and make a whole full-sized one. Ready? The hell is that? See how my little sticks have come in handy? The results are very amateur. So I'm gonna give the miniature bunt cake maker two Vivian heads. Hold on, a little bit more. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's see what happens here. 
I'm not taking Vivian heads off when it spills out like this, cause that's me. <gasps> it's beautiful, kind of. You're gonna have to use the scissors again. That's how you do it. You overfill it. You don't try to fill each one up. Huge difference in the results from my first batch to my second batch. So I'm gonna revise this and say, I'm gonna give this guy three Vivian heads. Number 10, miniature sandwich maker. This one's red as well. And I think it's a little bit bigger than the other ones for an apartment, dorm room, all kinds of stuff. This one, <laughs> this one has the German engineered locking mechanism. Hello, y'all need to put this on all the other ones we just did. This can't go wrong, right? I mean, that's pretty simple. Let's spread some almond butter because it has that locking mechanism. I think that it, it should cut this, right? It also has cutting technology. <laughs> See, bam. Now you can let it go, go watch TV, unlock. Oh, beautiful. This one actually did a decent job. It's nice and toasted and hot as hell. It's the locking mechanism. That's what's missing from all the other ones, but nice and toasted on both sides. It made a perfect little pocket. Look at the almond butter in there. So I'm gonna give the miniature sandwich maker four Vivian heads. Number 10, miniature griddle. This one you can make eggs, patties, like burger patties. You can do all kinds of things. But I thought, you know what? I love Pazookies, Zazookies from BJ's. I, I always say the name wrong. I think it's Pazuki. Raise your hand if you know what a Pazuki is or a Suzuki. <laughs> Warm cookies. <gasps> Ooh, Cheddar's makes, I think they call it Cookie Monster which is the same thing, but theirs is big, isn't it? I don't remember, it's been a thousand years since I went to a Cheddar's, but warm cookie with vanilla ice cream on top. <laughs> I love this one. I love all of them when they come out. They're the exact same damn product. They just changed the plates. What y'all should do, nostalgia, I'm giving y'all all kinds of tips. I'm gonna charge y'all my consulting fee. What y'all need to do is sell one of these and then sell me all the plates. There is absolutely no need for me to have 20 of these out. Send me a check for that royalty because that's a genius idea. I swear to God, if y'all come out with a product like that, after 12 months, you're free from our verbal contract. Until then, send me my coins. Mmm, Valentine's Day cookies with little heart sprinkles on top. You're gonna get two little squares and make a ball. I think that's the perfect size. That's a good size right there, see? Okay, and then close it. Go to BJ's and ask for a Suzuki. <laughs> Tell them Vivian sent you for a Suzuki. <laughs> They better rename the damn dessert after me if y'all go in there asking for it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Nope. Can we put a cinnamon roll in here and make a cinnamon roll cookie? See, this is what you should have done to begin with. You squish it down first. Then, maybe. But it's not touching the surface on top. Listen, this wasn't a genius idea of mine. The box said we can do cookies. So don't tell me this is not made for cookies. Flip it, turn it, rub it down. Oh no, oh no. It's gonna take the same amount of time as it did in the oven. I might as well cook the whole damn dozen cookies. I don't have a little baby spatula. Do you? Can I borrow? <laughs> this is what I call a cookie scramble. I invented it. I'm gonna try the cinnamon roll now. Cross your fingers, I need this to work. Cause this griddle is about to go in the trash. I bet this is gonna be a winner right here. <gasps> Heavenly. If y'all just installed a little hooky thing right here, that technology, German engineer. You're stupid, man. <laughs> I wanna be in the infomercial if you're gonna sell these the way I just did it. It's so perfect. This is so, look at that. Tell me that is not the most perfect thing you've ever seen in your whole life. Now a little bit of this on top. I wanna see if it'll spiral like a cinnamon roll. They can just unroll it just like a cinnamon roll. So I'm gonna give the griddle, especially if you're gonna make these, five Vivian heads so far. I think this is my favorite one. Number 10, miniature heart waffle maker. Now I'm gonna put a twist on this one. I didn't wanna do just a regular ass pancake because it's Valentine's Day and it has to be extra special. <laughs> Cause you know why. We're gonna make cinnamon roll pancakes. That's automatic sexy time. <laughs> Do you love the red or the pink so far? I'ma vote red. That's a sexy color right there. Let's look at it together. Ready, close your eyes. Ready, one, two, three, go. We're gonna start with that cake batter. 
I wasn't gonna make 50 different kinds of batter. Then we'll try this. This is strawberries and cream. And that's already sexual <laughs> in nature. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, nostalgia people. If you're watching this, give us instructions. <laughs> I'm sure you did in the booklet that you put in there, but uh-uh. I need a fill line, <laughs> that's what I need. I don't have time for a miniature ass thing that's gonna take me three seconds to make to read a 30 page manual. Valentine's Day, we're in a hurry because we forgot. I think that's good. That's about how much. Close it. I hate opening these. But you guys gave me a lot of tips on how to open these, which I don't know why I do this, see? I start to hyperventilate as soon as I tear the first little thing. Oh my God, if this thing pops and gets me in my throat. I think that's what scares me. Every time I open one of these, I get scared because I'm like, something's gonna come flying in my face. <laughs> and then the paramedics are gonna find me with a fucking lid on there. <laughs> Murder my popping can. <laughs> Let's check this real quick because I feel like it shouldn't take that long. <gasps> oh, it's the most perfect thing ever. Look. Now we bang it on the counter. Ready? These are strawberries and cream. Have you ever heard of that? Why are they so huge? Did I get the giant jumbo <laughs> size? I think I did. It's Valentine's Day, you gotta splurge. <laughs> Cross your fingers that this works cause this is gonna be a good automatic. <laughs> That's too much, huh? I'm gonna squish it down too. Probably bad idea, but I am. I bet this turns out to be the best idea of the whole video. You just take the batter off, the excess batter. <laughs> Baby, did you just say access? <laughs> yes, I'm tired of this being an ESL class. <laughs> Get out of my face. Nostalgia. I got another tip for you. Give me a little clamping thing, clip like this, like a little locking mechanism. Technology. <laughs> German engineer. <laughs> That's all the buzzwords that they put in those infomercials. If you put one of those, then when I have big old things like this, it'll work. And then this can be multi-purpose instead of just the waffle maker. Oh, it worked. All you have to do is cut it. It's a cinnamon roll. You're gonna get your kitchen scissors, not these scissors, because I use these for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but this is demonstration purposes only. I'm only ruining one. Tell me this is not a good idea. It is a cinnamon roll waffle. So I'm gonna give the miniature heart waffle maker five Vivian heads. Number 10, brow stencils. You guys, these are not the regular brow stencils that we're used to. These are not the ones that you have to hold up. Do you remember those that I did where we have to like hold them in place while you're drawing them in? Then your brows are all crooked because you move them. Problem solved. I mentioned this in those videos. If they would just put a little bit of tape, magical. I think I paid 10 bucks for a hundred. The instructions for these are pretty basic. Number one, remove the brow ruler. It is a ruler too. So the brow should be twins at the end. Stick it on the center of your brow. Follow the ABC ruler to draw your eyebrows. Tear off after drawing your brows. <laughs> they didn't have to tell us that, right? Take it off after you're done. Don't walk around the town with a fucking stencil on your face. <laughs> Who does that? Why do they have to put that on the packaging? Dumb dumb. Ooh. Oh, this was a good find. Look at all these. $10? Should I start my own microblading business? Put it on your face, you draw your brows in, and then take it off. Don't leave it on, silly cat. <laughs> I've always wanted a ruler because I want to know like how extra long can I really draw in my brows to still look snatched but not look cray cray, you know what I mean? Put this on before makeup, right? Because when you peel this off, your makeup's probably gonna come off with it. Beautiful. Let's make sure we're centered. That is the center of my face. And we bring it out like this. <gasps> Wait a second. It's really a ruler and not a stencil. It's not telling me how to shape it. It's just telling me how long. The beauty of this is you're gonna be able to look at your face and know if this brow, you have overdrawn it as far as length, height. We're gonna start right here. Okay, you see it right there? Now I'm gonna take it all the way to the top of the thing to see what that looks like. And we wanna fill it in. Do I look like a Kardashian? Have you noticed Kim's brows are like super thick and long? No, too much. Tell me the truth. <laughs> I like this one still because it's very natural and that's me. Like I could not go to the grocery store looking like this. But is this in? Let me know. The actual stencil, genius. Okay, so again, A right there. This is the real test. Are they gonna look like sisters now? Okay, to the end right there is my little line. Okay, 
Brush them both out. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? Oh, it doesn't hurt to take it off. <laughs> they're not, they're not sisters. They're still cousins. I think you're gonna have to practice. Let me know what you think. Too much? Don't judge the color. They're black because I need you to see them on camera. I want to know if the shape and the length looks good to you guys and how close together they are. Are you going to be able to tell when your neighbor comes over that her shit's jacked? <laughs> so I'm going to give the brow rulers five Vivian head. Number 10. Nano steamer. Multifunctional ion facial steamer. A towel warmer. That's where they got me. Provides amazingly refreshing, warm, moist towels that are great for de-stressing. And a humidifier. So it can be used as a humidifier. Supposedly, humidifiers are good for anti-aging because it keeps the skin ooey gooey and doughy and fresh and not dried and wrinkled. So you're gonna get a little measuring cup. Five piece skin kit to remove skin impurities immediately following facial steaming. Let's see what this is. There's your kit to get all the gunk off your face. <laughs> I have everything I need to become an esthetician, okay? Just need a couple more videos to be certified and I'm in. Why is Nano Steamer better? Why? Nano Steamer is a full size facial steamer that generates true nano ionic steam. A lot of people claim this ionic something. I, just, I don't know what that is. Which is 10 times more effective in penetrating and hydrating your skin than regular steam. It takes at least 20 minutes to completely hydrate skin cells. I didn't know that. I love the color. It's so pretty. Oh, that's where your towels go. I thought it was going to be a little fancier. It's kind of plasticky, but it's not bad. So I wiped this down very gently. Distilled water is in. Place this guy. So there's one. So if it's on steam mode, it's not going to steam my towels at the same time. Mm -hmm. Why do I even have these options? <laughs> Why do I feel like I've been suckered now? Like they sold me on all these things, but you're just going, but the steam is still coming out through the center of this thing. So it's still going to steam the towels. It's still going to give you a facial steamer and it's a humidifier. That, I don't know. I wonder if we have to turn it off. Did it say that in the instructions before we get our warm towels out? Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Turn that shit off. Ooh. Oh my God, look at the steam coming off the towel. So far, so good. Now let's put it on facial steamer to see if it does anything different. See, towels are steamed at the same time. I love that. Oh, look at that steam. I love this feature. You might need a larger towel, but this is definitely directing the steam closer to my face. But I think on one feature, you're gonna get all three effects. I think. So for all of those reasons, I'm going to give this guy four Vivian heads. Number 10. For external use, <laughs> Derma Wand. Have you guys seen this? I think this has been around for a while. This thing is going to take away wrinkles and fine lines, or at least redo some. I mean, look at this picture right here. That's pretty freaking impressive. They did one side of her face with this little wand and then one side they just left it alone. So she looked crazy for however long they were doing this test. I don't have tons of wrinkles, but I am going to treat one side of my face because it also says that it will help lift. So maybe it'll lift like an eyebrow. It has sold millions worldwide. It's expensive though. I guess it's not as expensive as a facelift. Derma Wand is clinically proven to help reduce the signs of aging. That looks like she had a neck lift or something. Do you believe this? Do you know anybody who's had this? Are you one of the million people that have purchased this already? Let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, pre-face treatment. Oh, using the Derma Wand a minimum of three minutes twice a day, every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> for external use. <laughs> During your treatment, you will hear a low humming noise, like white noise. They want you to apply this to your face before starting or your favorite moisturizer. It's plugged in. First step is to remove heard it. It's off. I wonder if after 12 weeks you don't have to use it every day. It's kind of like a touch up. Okay, when I do that, can you guys hear it? Cap off. Why am I nervous? Let's see. Oh! 
<gasps> it doesn't hurt, but it's a little zap. Ooh, I can smell that ion. Per the instructions for the eyebrow lift, we're gonna do one, two, three. So here's the before. Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> do you guys know what movie that's from? One, two, oh, three, one, two, three. Lifted? I don't know, I wanna keep doing it. Can I do this? Okay, that's enough. I think it is lifted. I need to read the instructions because I wanna keep going. Always up. I don't feel any type of heat. It is just zapping me. After a while you get used to it though, the little zap, it's not bad. I'm noticing a little bit of a difference, not a lot. I do feel a little bit more plump. Like my skin is a little bit more plump right here. Is it just me? Am I just feeding into this? I kind of see it. And I feel like my brow was lifted just slightly. I just wonder why this is red. Did I do too much? So do I hate it? No. Am I impressed? Kind of. Am I gonna continue using it and let you guys know a little bit later what I think of it? Absolutely. I thought this was gonna be like some kind of gimmicky, stupid thing, but maybe I'm stupid for believing it, but something happened. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Derma Wand three Vivian heads. Number 10, Blend Jet. It is a portable blender that you charge. I was thinking of all kinds of places we can use it in your car, at the gym, while you're working out, you can get that smoothie going. Taking a walk on a cruise, make yourself a margarita, pina colada, anywhere. When I was doing research on it, guess what I found out? They're making a smoothie underwater. <laughs> you know what that means. Vivian's gonna do it. I'm just saying. First impressions, very well made. I am impressed with the quality. It is not cheap. Per the instructions, it needs to charge for at least an hour and a half. It's been charging now for like three hours while I got ready. It says on the box that with an hour and a half of charging, you should get at least 15 blends or 15 smoothies or whatever. The next generation blender. So every time you click on the little blend jet button here in the front, the only button it has. It's gonna blend for 20 seconds at a time. To enter the pulse mode, double press the power button. Blue light will flash left to right three times and swirl around. That you, I'm confused. I gotta read that again. Cause what? Three times to the left and two times to the right and it's gonna turn yellow and if it turns blue, it means this. If you gave me one button, perfect for sipping. For sipping. Oh, do we just leave it all attached? This is the to go? I guess so, okay. Very well made. I thought it was gonna be a little bit plasticky and cheap. Absolutely not. Even the plastic of the cup, very impressive, very thick, like we like it. <laughs> you guys remember when I said in thickness and in health? Hook them with that, you got them for life. <laughs> it has a little silicone thing. The cup is very not. This is why you can't take it off. You have to drink it with the blade. Do we love that? I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. That's kind of weird. The blade looks itty bitty. And why is it not centered? Is there a safety feature? Like right now, I just took this off of here. If I turn it on, is that shit gonna turn on? Let's see. Oh, why is it red? Oh, does it know? that I took the thing off. See, that was my first test, you passed. There is a safety feature. It knows, hey dum-dum, put the thing back on. The jar with measuring markings. It's not a jar because it doesn't have a bottom. It's just a covering. <laughs> yep, it works. That's <laughs> scary. me. The closest thing to me is a bathroom, so I just got my hand soap. Same thing, not the same thing, but close enough. It's ready, one, two, three, go. That scares me, see? <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> Is it loud? It's not horrible, but it's just water. 
Was that 20 seconds? We have to time that. Let's dump this out and start blending some stuff. I got good stuff to blend too. Number one, fish tank. I'm concerned with the little hole right there for charging. Water, a little bunt cake. Yeah, if you wanna have a healthy, keto-friendly <laughs> smoothie, bundt cake, that's how you make it. Close it up, sealed tight. Everything's tight, look. Go. <laughs> it's working. Did it pass my test? We're gonna turn it on for another cycle. And listen, I've done a whole bunch of tests and that charge is holding. One more. <laughs> it passed. It's still alive. There's a little bit of pool water still on it, but besides that, I almost twisted the bottom off. That's kind of dangerous, huh? Because if you're just talking at the gym, gossiping about that girl over there, having an affair with that guy, you might snap the bottom off and then you got a mess. So you gotta be real careful that you're not taking this off, you're just taking the lid off. Look at that. Kernels, popcorn. Can we make corn powder, corn flour? My other blender will pulse these up and make powder. For $49, this might replace my blender. If I have a little bitty apartment or maybe a dorm room, I don't have a big old Ninja or Vitamix. I have a Vitamix, that's my favorite. So if I can't afford those or I can't get something that big in my kitchen because I'm compact, then this is gonna replace it. I need you to do all kinds of stuff, not just liquids. Just a little bit. Don't break on my first test now because we're going to be very upset. I got 30 more things over there to test. Okay. Oh, there's the things. To the... <sighs> it's loud. Cover your ears. Am I going to burn this motor out on item number one? Breaking it up, but it's not making finely ground cornmeal. I can't tell the difference between the pulse and this one. Ooh, it's hot. It said that it would not get hot. So you can put eggs in there and it's not gonna cook them. It chopped it up, but it's not finely ground. I can't make cornbread. I don't know about y'all, but that pulse mode did not impress me at all. Were you impressed? Number two. Carrots. They did this in the commercial. Don't go to that juice bar. You're the juice bar. Go around, make everybody a smoothie. That's a side gig. Ready? Go. Stuck. Oh, my carrots are stuck. Oh, girl, I'm at the, oh, how? Can I open it like this? You're gonna have to. Okay, it's blinking red, so that means the blade knows. That's convenient. I like that, that I can open it from either end. <laughs> The worst thing in the world is trying to make some juice and there's chunks. Juice has to be smooth. We're just gonna throw it in here. Okay, ready? This chunky soup. But it's not bad at all. Number three. Miniature apples. Have you ever seen these? It says brand new. Designed in a laboratory maybe. I don't know. I don't know of any new apples that grew on a tree. <gasps> but they're so cute. I had to buy because they're so cute. That's a little baby apple. It is gonna fit in there, it's perfect. I thought, then we're on the run. We need some apple juice to keep healthy. Keep the fungalitis out of here. $6.47 at Walmart. Too much, I can buy the whole damn tree. Easy peasy, how cute are these? That's gonna work, right? Why not? Ready, one, two, three, go. Okay. Another thing I heard in one of the little commercials that I watched is that it knows like when to speed up and slow down, I think, based on what's in there. See if you're at the gym working out. Can you turn it? Did you see me working out? Did you see I almost did like that upside down? I don't know why you would do that. I see a couple seeds, but that's not bad considering it was a whole damn apple. Let's dump it over here into my compost, my liquid compost. You guys watch out for chunks. Number four. What about a banana? I'm just trying to give you guys ideas. Oh, hold it. I don't think you're supposed to eat the peel, but that's pretty good. That liquefied it for sure. Bananas are soft though. Number five. What about a lemon? This one's big too, look at that. Is it gonna fit? I think so. 
<gasps> Put your bets in, boys and girls, in the comments down below. Let me know. Are we about to have lemonade? Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Let me hold the lid. Oh! <laughs> Don't burn that motor. Y'all did lemons in your little commercial. Girl, I got stuck. <gasps> there it is at the top. It don't like it. It don't like it. Mm -mm. Girl, look at that lemons right there still. Fresh lemonade smells so good. It's actually not bad. Look at that. It probably knows you can't eat this. It just peeled it for you. Didn't fail, but it wasn't as impressive as I thought it was gonna be because I thought this would be all just gone. Number six. Can we do a quick soup? Why not? <laughs> what kind of mess is this gonna make? Ooh, if you see this on their YouTube channel, y'all know where it came from. They need to hire me for the infomercial. Put a little egg in there, egg drop soup. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> it's getting warm. Oh, ramen to go. Oh, it's kind of chunky monkey. <laughs> okay, that had been cooked in like 20 seconds in the microwave. Number seven. Miniature candies that you still have left over that you bought on clearance after Halloween. What if you wanna have a yummy, healthy keto smoothie made out of candy? Who does this on the internet? Vivian. It doesn't like it. Oh no, because the Chunky Monkey stuff got stuck. You can't put all kinds of stuff in here, you guys. Whoa, it was still on. I'm scared, I'm gonna blow this damn motor. This thing was $50. I'm gonna pass it on to my kids' kids. I want this to be passed down generations to come for $50, that's my expectation. Maybe if you hold, no, it's not gonna work. I can't keep using my charge juice. So if you have candy bars or you're craving a smoothie with candy bars, it's a no-go. It did, it failed, this one. I don't know if it's off and I don't wanna open it and then it start going. See, that's why I need different buttons to tell me. Let me know in the comments down below just before I open it. <laughs> I'm gonna open it and if you go off, girl, you can ruin my beautiful uh, jumpsuit from cute.com and we're gonna have issues. Oh, hell no. I don't know, that blade technology, did it not kick in or what? Can't handle candy bars? Y'all need to put that in the fine print. Number eight. Baby red potatoes. Maybe you're trying to do a potato soup. I could do it in my uh, blender. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Oh no, it can handle it. Soup. <laughs> that did really well. For the potato, you kind of want chunks of the potato because that makes for a good soup. Girl, some cheese. That was a big old chunk. See, it doesn't do well with the peel. Number nine, cheeseburger with bacon. It's not my idea. I actually saw somebody else do it on the internet, but they did it with a full Happy Meal. So I got this little thing, just a single burger, a little bit of bacon, a little cheese, and a big fat. <laughs> Vivian, sometimes you just gotta calm down. If you're on a liquid diet, that's a cheeseburger. That way people at the gym don't know you're cheating. <laughs> you're on the treadmill and you're eating a cheeseburger. They're gonna be like, girl, you got yourself a nice protein shake. But you can see the bread already coming to the top. You're gonna need one. <laughs> You're gonna need a uh, boba tea straw for this one. That's nasty. <laughs> You're gonna have to use the boba straw. And the, your friends are gonna know. They're gonna be like, that don't look like no protein shake. Girl, you're a liar. That looks like a cheeseburger. <laughs> Let me smell. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. It's too much cheeseburger because you went and got a Whopper <laughs> instead of a kid's meal. Number 10. An egg. Testing a raw egg in there will let us know if this thing starts to cook them. I missed the whole jar. Okay, one egg, go. It's a little warm, but it's not hot. No, beautiful. Are they cooked? No. I have no complaints besides the price. Even passing all the tests that I just did, even though it's fancy and very well made, I'm gonna give it to them. I love the German engineer. <laughs> it didn't say German engineer, but it did say some kind of turbo engineer, I think. $49.99? Doesn't that still seem a little bit high? Besides that, sure, go get you one. So I'm gonna give the Blend Jet four Vivian heads. Why four? The price. But I got four. It's close to five. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.